that beautiful house. Look at that, Catherine McCord. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, my God. Can I move in? Well, you have. <laughs> Here to make us her herb brine pork chops with balsamic roasted onions. Please welcome back the creator of the very family-friendly food blog, We Delicious, our very good friend, Chef Catherine McCord. Yay. Welcome, Catherine. We're so excited to have her. Also joining us from Superstore, Lauren Ash. We're so excited yeah. to speak with her in just a little bit. And Ken and Maria heard pork chops, and they yeah. said when and where. And then <laughs> there so they good. are. So I, we've known each other for a very long time. Yes. And you are an amazing cook. But now you're a chef, which yes. is even better. So everyone knows where to go for the holidays, to your house. <laughs> Especially when it comes to pork chops, because pork chops can be tricky. So what is the key to making the most juicy, delicious pork chops? Yeah, so that's, that's really the trick, because like even for me, I grew up eating pork chops, but like, my mom's pork chop, super good and delicious, but this pork chop is like gangbusters. It's Sorry, mom. Amazing. <laughs> Sorry, mom. Love you. <laughs> Um, so the trick to it all is brine. And people and, don't think about yeah, that. Yeah, and brine is just like one of those things that just gets more moisture in there, more flavor. Um, it really is the secret to so many meats, but especially to pork, which can dry out a little bit. Very quickly. Yeah. Yes, especially because a lot of people cook pork kind of extra. Yeah. So how do we make your brine? What's in your delicious brine? So this is my brine. So we've got a pan here with a, a cup of hot water. Okay. This is the trick to starting it. So we've got some sugar, some sugar and some kosher salt. Okay. We're going to just put those in just like that. Let me get a spoon. Tap, for you. tap, tap. There we go. Get it. Get it out of there. And okay. then this is the trick. You want to be able to do it uh, when that water right there is hot because what we're going to do is dissolve that sugar in okay. water. So you just stir, stir, so stir. As you like do that. Yeah. And what we've got here some fresh rosemary and thyme. Oh. So my garden right now is just like uh, herb heaven. Mm -hmm. So don't just think that you have to do rosemary and thyme. You can really um, keep keep going with all those different flavors. Anything that you've got in there, you could put some sage, oh, nice. you could put some parsley, we've got some garlic okay. here. Love I mean, garlic. fresh garlic, just like the the, the game changer I to think it so all. too. Um, some peppercorns, you could do some cloves. Ooh, you that's know, a good idea. really I thinking love that about one. just like infusing flavor into that pork. So then now that that uh, sugar and salt is all um, dissolved, we can do, we can pour in, we're gonna actually pour go that, that way. We'll yeah. go this way. That's we're a better idea. Thing. I was like, there's not enough space in this really which, okay so we're gonna pour that there and what the reason we add three cups now of cold water is because we want to make sure that when we add our pork chops in there that that water is nice and cool it's not gonna cook the pork chops right. um, and w by the magic of time we're gonna pull some uh, <laughs> we're gonna put some pork chops in there and, and we've pull got the some, brine yeah. ones out of here so what so how long do we brine them exactly so you want to brine those pork chops at least an hour but I'll be honest with you a day a oh, day wow. and a half it's it better so this is like that 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 dish that if you're having a party yeah. and you want to really impress your guests, this is it because you've got you started thinking about it a day and a half ago. I mean, people think pork chops and they yeah. kind of associate it with being dry, but these are so moist, they're tender, they're like melting your mouth. Yeah, and you, so this is working. And those can, are pretty thick. These, yeah, these are a little bit more thick, um, which I love because yeah. they're just going to be exact. As Cameron was saying, uh, juice here. You can do bone in, you can do bone out. Like this is can a you nice. Prepare them the same way. Totally. totally. Okay. Um, some people, I just know that like my mother-in-law, she's like always with the bone for her dog. Oh, just true. Saying, yeah, no, just I saying. agree. So now how do we prepare them to get them on the skillet? Because you're going to put them in a piping hot cast iron skillet. And first. that's also a great trick is okay. that cast iron skillet mm. just gets a lot of that glaze that you really love. So we're just patting these dry. So you actually do not rinse them afterwards. Don't rinse them. That's a great question. Okay. We do not want to rinse them. We want to just make sure that we pat them just nice. Um, and, you know, especially with Thanksgiving coming up. I mean, people always say my turkey is the best turkey they ever had. Do you brine your whole turkey? That's the only secret. <laughs> <laughs> same brine? Don't tell anyone. Do you use I should... the same brine? Same, same uh, proportions? Same brine. Maybe, oh you know, a lot, a lot more, right. more like 12 oh, okay. cups. But like any kind of turkey wow. you've got, like Whoa. whole turkey. Well, That's... Invite me back for Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. So okay. your, your key to, to getting the cast iron skillet piping hot is putting it in the oven. It is in the oven. That is the trick. And I've also wow. got some high heat here. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is just take those tongs, and you want to hear like a serious sizzle. Yeah, we're gonna, let's, do this. let's go for this. 
Oh, wait a minute. Oh, we got oil. 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 That's going to get oil. us a sailboat. All right, get our oil going. Just, um, go. just a little bit because, you know, we don't we don't even need uh, too much oil, but that is going to help give it that nice mm. place. And you guys, be safe. Get a, a pot holder because right. you do not want that cast oh, iron man. palm. Mm. Yep. Cast iron palm, that's a whole yeah. thing. Yeah, I know. That's <laughs> there, it is. there we go. Wow. Um, so we're going to do about, okay. uh, you know, about three minutes mm. here. We don't need, we don't need, we, we need paper we don't need towel. paper towel. Poor chops. So, yeah, so like, as Debbie said, we got about three, four minutes here. Um, what we're trying to do is just get that nice glaze right there, okay. that color that you really love. Um, and, and really, I mean, I wish that this recipe was more complicated. It's almost like comical. But that's what's but so is. great about it, though. Yeah. This, because it seems impressive, mm. but it's really easy. It's just about putting it in the refrigerator the day before, and you're pretty much done. It yeah, doesn't so, feel too intimidating for somebody, you know, like me. No. Like exactly. And this is that great weeknight recipe. Yeah. It's just like you're busy, um, you know, whether you're having guests over Friday sure. night and you're working. Uh, we, we, it's that or the fact that, you know, just like, like when I was growing up. Um, look at that. That's look how quick that is. For like a so literally two or three minutes on each side. And also you serve this with something that is delicious, but you wouldn't think kid friendly. She has three adorable kids yeah. and you think your kids are not... They are balsamic glazed onions. They are yeah. so and good. Kids, and your kids are digging them. And that is yeah. the funniest so part. So the kids love this. My kids love onions, but if these balsamic glazed onions are like totally mm -hmm. different. They are mm. juicy and melted. You can use purple onions. Yes. You can use Maui onions. Like really go for it. You know, go to your farmer's market, get the different kinds of onions. So what's right. on the glaze? Yeah, this is just, again, just like a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of balsamic. Again, some of those fresh herbs, just like healthy, clean, just, um, Excuse me while I get my pork. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my gosh, girl. She, got she was hungry. She loves it so much. Yeah, I mean, my she looks healthy. She looks pint sized, but I mean, I, I like mean, a girl that can take back. Her, she works up an appetite. A girl here. after my own heart. That's right. Um, so we're just going to put in a little bit more of that. And this just helps, you know, these are, you're just getting those melted yeah. onions. Oh. Just like so soft. And, and when you put these in, by the way, you put this in. Woo, that's hot. Well, that, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just got ceramic ham, not a, <laughs> not a cast iron in. So when you put these in, you put these in first, though, correct? Yeah, we want to get these down. like 375. I'll be honest with you. You can go 425, mm. 450. With oil or yeah, anything? Or? No, they have a little the bit glaze. of oil in that balsam. Before you, before so, you put it. Yeah, so what I, I just poured on a little bit of reserved glaze, but they already cooked in that got olive oil, okay. herb, got balsamic. Good. Um, and that's what gets them so nice and soft. 45, 50 minutes. Again, they're onions. They're really forgiving. And with the pork chops, we had them four minutes on each side on the stove top. Then we put them in the oven at yep. 375 as well. Mm -hmm. Three, about for how long? 375. You know, I, about, we're trying to, you know, you, it's a total of eight minutes. So just think okay. of it like that. You know, you're just trying to pop them in the oven just so that they cook through a little bit more. But remember, with pork, we were talking about this at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. 140, 145. We are not trying to destroy the pork. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know, back in the day, they used to think you had to cook. It so long. Oh my we God. Love, like we love that your blog oh, is that. full of family uh, friendly mm -hmm. recipes. Relicious. Uh, Relicious is all family friendly. The kids love this one, like you mentioned. So, yes. I mean, it's, it's a That's great one to try, point. but there's lots of them on there to try. All family. All family recipes yeah. that are simple, easy. Just It's great. the quality mm -hmm. of the ingredients.